God lives and works today, and as a loving Father, He has planned a wonderful future for our lives. But do we take His plans into consideration when we make our plans for the future? Listen to the following program by Basilea Schlink. I'm a realist. Are you one too? People who are realistic plan ahead. To be a realist means to plan for the future, taking into consideration everything that may happen. Why do you want to avoid the one irrefutable fact that someday there's going to be a funeral, your own? You can't get around it, or doesn't your realism take you this far? Do you stop at this point? If so, then you're not reckoning with eternity, for eternity awaits us all. At the latest, in a few decades, but it could come very soon. Do you always like to know in advance what is going to happen to you? Of one thing, we can be certain: death is awaiting us all, and everything that will come after death. It is not nothingness, as many people pretend. No, after death is a state of existence in which we will all have to live. It is a reality and more real than everything that makes up our lives here on earth. It is called eternity, which means a kingdom that will never cease to exist, without beginning and without end. It is indestructible. All our earthly possessions can be eaten away by moths and rust, destroyed by fire and hail, or lost through wars and inflation. But destruction threatens us today in quite different proportions. Where will your home be in eternity? Where will you be led in the hour of your death? The answer is determined by how we have lived here on earth. Has Christ been the center of our lives? Has He been our joy? If so, our home will be in His eternal kingdom of joy, in a kingdom without tears, anxiety, or struggles. Are we aware of the fact that we will reap what we have sown? What have you sown in the last twenty-four hours? Have you been patient and forbearing towards your neighbor, forgiving his mistakes? Have you been truthful in your words and actions? Have your thoughts and deeds been pure, your behavior modest? Have you been honest in business dealings and faithful in your promises? Have you trusted God in times of trouble? If you haven't been a true realist, then now's the time to start. How? By reckoning with the holiness of God and His judgment. Therefore, reckon with Jesus Christ today, who can transform everything in your life. Bring your secret sins into the light and surrender your life completely to Him. If possible, go to a person whom you know is a Christian, so that he can advise and help you. Nothing will make you as happy as this change from being foolish to being realistic. That is, to being a true Christian. You will thank God for this in all eternity. So all that I have, I will give Him. I'll sacrifice all I hold dear. My whole life to Jesus belonging. My heart. You have been listening to a program written by Basilea Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N.org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you.